This video, sponsored by, Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Liquid Text Animation. I am using a full HD composition, with a frame rate of 15. To achieve the hand drawn look. And my duration is 5 seconds. We will keep it short and simple. The first step is to create our text layer. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Let's add our text right here. Eject from the typing tool, and make sure to align it to the center. You can download this font, from the link in the description. Now right click on your text layer, and pre-compose it. I am calling it text comp. And then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the transform. Apply it onto the layer and then change the skew value to negative 10. It will create this nice look. Now pre-compose this layer once again, so that we can easily manage the effects we are going to apply. I am calling it text skew. And make sure to click on move all attributes into the new composition. Now again, go to the effects and presets, and search for the Vegas. Apply it onto the layer and then change the blend mode to the transparent. Also, change the segment value to 1. Now I am changing the end opacity value to 1 as well. And let's keep a white color for it. This is how your text looks now. Let's use the width value of 4, to make it thicker. Now go to around 2 second position, and then add a keyframe on length as well as, add a keyframe on the rotation. Now go to the first frame, and change the length value to 0. As well as change the rotation value to negative 90 degrees. Check the animation, and it should look like this. Not bad. Let's check this random phase checkbox, to get the random moves in the rotation. Now press U, to reveal all keyframes. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them, by pressing the F9 on your keyboard. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Make a duplicate of the text layer, and rename it as the text blue. Let's select the bottom layer, and I am calling it the text white. Now select the text blue layer, and change its color to the blue. You are free to use any color you want. Let's change the random seed value to 2, so that, it will rotate on a different timing, than the bottom layer. Cool. Now select the blue layer, and place the starting position on the 5 seconds, to get some more random movement. Cool. Let's change its width value to 6, to make it even thicker. Now again make a duplicate of this blue layer and place the starting point, on the 10 frames forward. Let's add some animation on the stroke width. Make sure you are at the beginning of the layer, and then add a keyframe on the width. Now go to the 2 second position, and change the width value to 11. And this is how the text will look now. As you can see, the stroke lines are going outside the letters, which we don't need. We want to fill the blue color in between the letters. So let's try to fix it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the minimax. Make sure to place it right above the Vegas effect. And then change the operation value to minimum. As well as, change the channel to the alpha and color. Now change the radius value, according to your requirement. You can simply press the up, or down arrow key for increasing and decreasing the value of it. Let's keep a value of 5. Now the stroke is fitting right inside the letters. Again, go to the effects and the presets. 
and this time search for the simple choker. Apply it right below the Vegas effect. And here change the choke mat value to 4. It will remove all the softness from the stroke lines. Cool. Looking better now. Let's make one more duplicate, of this text layer. I am calling it text red. Place it 5 frames forward. Then select the bottom layer, and change the random seed value to 3. Again, select the top layer. And change the random seed value to 4. Let's change the color of it. I am keeping this red, and pink shade of color. You are free to choose your own color. And this is how it will look now. Let's make one more duplicate of the red layer, and place it right after the 5 frames. Also, I'm changing the random seed value to 5. Now press U, to open keyframes. Go to the last keyframe position, then grab the last keyframe of the width and then place it right below these keyframes. I am changing the width value to 30. Also, change the minimax radius value to 3, as well as, change the choke mat value to 2. We are just trying to cover up the entire text. In case required, you can always adjust the value according to your text size. Let's change the width value to 35. Now select these keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Cool. This is how the text looks now. Let's move to the next step. Select the text layer, and make one more duplicate of it. I am calling it text mask. Let's remove all the effects from it, because we will be using it, as the mask layer. Now select all bottom layers, right click on it, and choose pre-compose. I am calling it liquid. And then hit OK. Now we are going to use the track mat on liquid layer. In case the track mat tab is not available here, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes. Now change the track mat to the alpha mat. But here is the problem. The text disappears in the beginning. So let's select this layer, and place it on the first frame. Check the preview, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's add some extra layers, to make it more dynamic. So open the liquid composition, select the text white layer, and copy it. Switch back to the main timeline, and place it right above all layers. Now open keyframes, and then remove all the keyframes from the length. Also, change the length value to 0. As well as, change the width value to 2. Now go to around 2 second position. And add a keyframe on the length. Go to 5 frames forward, and change the length value to 0.02. It will create this tiny stroke. Again go to the 5 frames forward, and change the length value to 0. Here you can hardly see any difference. But the change is here. Let's select these rotation keyframes, and place them right here. So that the strokes still rotate around. Now select these keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Cool. Let's make this stroke more dynamic. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the turbulent displace. Apply it onto the layer and let's adjust a few settings. I am changing the amount value to 18. It will randomly distort the stroke path. Let's select this text layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it drop red. Also, let's rename the bottom layer, as the drop white. Now select the drop red layer, and change the random seed value to 2. Also, I am using the same red pink color for this layer. Let's change the random seed value to 5. And now make one more duplicate of it. I am calling it drop blue. And changing the random seed value to 8. As well as, using the same blue color, as we have used before. Check the animation, 
and see if you like it. Cool. Now we are going to create the background. Let's minimize all layers, to get some room. And then create a new solid layer. I am calling it background, and using this dark gray color for it. Place it right below all layers, and then make a duplicate of it. I am calling it noise. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the contrast value to 300. And then change the brightness value to negative 100. Now open transform, and change the scale value to 500. Let's increase the contrast value to 430. And this is how it will look now. Before moving to any other step, let's pre-compose the noise layer. I am calling it texture, click on move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now open the texture comp, select the noise layer, and then open the transform. Here we are going to use the offset turbulence, to add a animation on it. So go to the first frame position, and add a keyframe on offset turbulence. Go to the 5 frames forward, and change the turbulence value to a higher number. Again, go to the 5 frames forward, and change the number even more. You can randomly choose any number, just make sure to add the 1000 pixels difference. And this is how the animation looks now. Now press U, to open keyframes. Select all keyframes, right click on it, and choose toggle hold keyframes. It will remove all the linear animation from the keyframes. And the movement will be shown on the keyframes only. But there is a problem. It is not moving for the entire duration. So let's fix it, by adding an expression. Press and hold the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard. And then click on this stopwatch icon, to add an expression. Now in the expression box, type, loop out, with the capital O, and then parentheses. Click anywhere on the screen, to eject from the expression box. This expression, will repeat this animation on loop. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Not good actually. Let's go to the 5 frames forward. And randomly change the offset turbulence value to another one. It will show up 3 different frames now. Switch back to the main timeline, and let's change the opacity value of the texture layer, by 1%. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, good luck, and sayonara. Design video products faster, with Envato Elements. Get unlimited download, After Effects template, stock footage, fonts, music files, web templates, and more. Visit the Envato Elements. Check the first link in the description.